Hey y'all, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I customize my frontals to my crazy low hairline using a wig from B Show Hair on Amazon. Um, this wig was a 13 by 4 14 inch deep wave bob wig and at first I was kind of scared because the lace was looking kind of dark even though it said medium brown but I got it to work out in the end. So this wig came um, 13 by 4 14 inch and it came with four combs and adjustable straps it was very soft and i really did enjoy the wig it came out looking very natural so it also came pre-plucked um of course i went in and plucked it a little bit more to make it look more natural but i would say that i'm pretty impressed with this wig it was only 81 dollars so right now i'm just um trying on the wig uh it it was it wasn't really big head friendly i can't even cap it was not big head friendly um so i just tried my best to make it work and it did so this is exactly what my wig would look like if i tried to make it cover my entire hairline so i know a lot of girls struggle with customizing their hairline when they have low edges so right now i'm just figuring out if it'll fit to the size of my head and I was kind of nervous because like I said it was not big head friendly but getting into the customization part right here what I'm gonna do is I'm parting my um, hairline and I'm tracing I'm going back and forth and I'm tracing a part to match my exact hairline so this part is gonna take a while I'll say about 45 minutes maybe i'm just going really slow to make sure that i'm not going off of track so as you can see i put a picture up and this is like a little way for y'all to see how i'm going back and forth to check and make sure that i'm chasing my exact hairline And for this part, like I said before, you're really just going to want to take your time to make sure that you're getting it to look how you want it to look and you're not messing up or going off of where your hairline is at. And after a while, this will get easier. And now that I'm done, I'm just going to braid it. It's not perfect, but the reason why I'm not going all the way back is because I'm going to end up plucking it anyways for a more natural look. So now that I have that done, and yes ma'am, it looks like my hairline. So this is where the fun part, this is where the magic happens. So you're just gonna use your foam spray to get the wispies out of the way because you do not, for this next part, you do not want any of that back hair in the way. And this is the big secret, we're gonna use Nair. Um, so for this part, I like to use the end of my comb because it just, I can just maneuver it better, but you can use a, a brush. But for this part, you're going to want to work this through as if it was a relaxer. And the reason why we're using Nair is because Nair, you want to get a clean, fresh hairline. So Nair gets rid of all of the hair. Um, this part, I actually did not leave the Nair on long enough. So you're going to want to leave it on as long as possible because because like it does on your legs the hair should just fall off automatically but um you're just gonna want to work through this as if it was a relaxer and let the hair come out clean that way you can have a brand new fresh hairline that matches yours like i said before i so I started pulling it out too early, but you're going to want to leave this on for like 20 minutes. I took it off after 10 minutes because I got impatient and the hair wasn't falling off as easy as I wanted it to. But um, when you leave it on longer, it should just come off really clean. But as for myself, I'm going to have to go back in and put some more nair on there and then leave it for about 20 minutes. That way it can just come right off with a washcloth. So as y'all can see, I'm going back in, and I'm I'm putting I'm heavily cold in this because I want the hair to come off extremely clean, 
and after this I'm gonna leave it in for about 20 more minutes and then I'm gonna come back and just wash the hair off that way no nair got on the hair that I'm keeping and we are back and as you can see we have a clean hairline that matches our hair um <laughs> I can't sometimes my my hairline just I, I don't even know what to say but we gonna make it work um in this next process the bleaching process I bleached with BW powder and 30 developer and the reason why I use 30 developer is because the knots in the back of your in the back of your wig are always thicker than the knots in the front so you're gonna want to leave this on a little bit longer than you would your regular as if you didn't rip out the front of your hair so your i always leave mine on for about maybe like 25 to 30 minutes and i'm checking back and forth to make sure that it doesn't bleed through also you want your your bleach to be thick as if it's like heavy whipping cream like you don't want it to fall off of your comb you just want it to lay right on top of right on top of the hair so you want it to be a thicker consistency you don't want it to be too runny because the watery like if it's watery it's just gonna seep right through your wig and you're gonna end up with blonde roots and that's not something that we want Now that I've washed all that out, I'm showing you guys right now that I've already started plucking the middle. So I'm basically just showing you the difference between the natural pluck in the in the middle and then I have not started to pluck the sides. And I'm going to let you know right now that you cannot, there's no possible way that you can mess up plucking a wig only if you stay in one spot. So I'm going to show you guys right now exactly how I pluck my wigs to make sure that I do not bald them. So you're going to go across your hairline and you're going to make sure that you're changing places every single time you plug. You're not going to want to stay in one place. Just make sure that you're going basically all over the wig. The way that I get my wigs to last so long is I don't over pluck them too much because the hair is going to fall out eventually it is inevitable so you don't want to pluck it so much to the point where it only lasts two weeks because it will fall out i promise you that hair will fall out and if you're a beginner i would say just take your time do not stress because the more hair that you do the better you'll get at it and then it'll just become natural to you so don't stress it and eventually you'll be able to get that natural look that you're looking for Pretty chick, thick, quick to cuss you out like yikes. The nasty type sweet for my climb dike bar. I do it for the beat off. Is where I cut my video off and I started to create my TikTok and I styled the hair and then I applied the wig and I got this natural hairline look. And the lace ended up blending really well. I thought it was too dark, but I mean, it looked pretty well, you know. So. Yep, this is exactly how it turned out. Thank you guys for watching. If you want a more detailed video, please comment below. Or if you guys have any questions or anything you want, you need to know, please comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Oh, I almost forgot. If you guys could check out my website and my bio, it's Angel's Trio. We have some nice items. Some are handcrafted by yours truly. So that would be great if you guys could help out and support a small business. Thank you so much.